Sickness is the presence of symptoms. So this is good time to say what a symptom is, okay? A yeah. symptom is what you only can feel. Only you can feel an upset stomach or a sore throat or that sort of it's thing. It's the lived experience of Whereas a symptom. Whereas a sign is something that someone could measure and it's tell that you're infected, like virus symptom. in your nasopharynx or something else, right? Signs and symptoms. And so in a vaccine trial, they tell you if you have any of these symptoms, and they give you a paper with the exact symptoms listed to make sure you're picking them up, right? So for flu, it would probably be fever, sore throat, cough. Mm -hmm. You call them and then they will do a PCR and make sure you've, you've got flu and not some other virus that makes similar symptoms. And then they would say, are you a vaccine or non-vaccine arm? And they count up all the infections and see how the vaccine did, basically. That's so fascinating because... Um... The reporting, so symptom is what you feel. Yes, for sure. And uh, certainly the mind has a ability to conjure up feelings. Oh yes, absolutely. And so like culturally, you know, maybe there was a time in our culture where it was uh, looked down upon to, to, to feel sick or something like that, like toughen up yes. kind of thing. Yes. And so then you probably have very few symptoms being reported. Absolutely. And then Absolutely. And now is like yeah. much more, um, I don't know, perhaps you're much more likely to report symptoms now. It's fascinating because then it, it changes. Oh, it is definitely a perception because for, you know, your symptom may be nothing to me or yeah. vice versa, right? And so when you're doing this, it's a little bit of a imprecise science because, in, in, and even it's a cultural thing in some countries, something that would make us feel horrible, they wouldn't even bother reporting. No, I didn't have any symptoms. So it's a little bit imprecise and it clouds the results. So if you can measure things, it's always better. But you start out with a symptom. And if you say, if someone tells you this virus, 20% of the people are asymptomatic, they don't report symptoms, that number is probably not a, a constant. It depends where you did the study. It could be different in China versus South America, Europe, et cetera, yeah. 